What is good? We're back. Full full tripod status. Guys are all healed up and healthy. I think we're just under about the time we need to be. Everybody good? Everybody good. Good? Good. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Good. No yelling on the bus. All right. Stupendous. Fresh crack. We're going to do a little worth a first today, which is basically taking the 23 class, 23 first that you may or may not have at this point. Maybe you have a bunch of them and seeing uh, which guys may or may not be worth a first. So we're going to keep doing this throughout the off season. Uh, we did some with JB that you probably just saw, and now we're about to hit a couple more. So let's get into it. I think we're going to hit Najee Harris first. Bit of a fall from grace. Uh, you know, was top three or four RBs being drafted in the offseason, maybe much to the chagrin of some people. And, you know, they're feeling pretty good. They're taking their victory laps right now. They're, no, chagrin um, they're chagrinning. Nobody's yeah, going right. to want to pay a first for Najee Harris. I will. I will. Well, Jason. Like, guys, we, we're going to do a whole, like, I guess end the video. That's it. That's, it. that's all they want anyway. The whole thing was <laughs> predicated around this question. Start, start, start the close music. All right. Well, sh should we... <laughs> I guess I'll sit here and maybe try to talk you out of it. I don't know. You're going to try to talk me out of the Najee for a first? You want you want Najee for a first. All right. So Stop fooling. What, what, um, in some of the style that me and JB did it, it was, um, you know, do you have a, a range where you'd feel comfortable of, of trading? So we're talking super flex, right? Not super flex. Super you could flex. throw a tight end premium right in there. Sure. I don't think it, yeah. Who's not playing tight end premium if it's super flex? You know what I mean? Idiots. Jump on. Get jump in the water. Get your whole why don't you play body quarter, wet. Why don't you play a quarter point per carry then? I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm just not, not nah. used to it. I'm good. I, I don't mind it. And get rid of all these bonus points too. Forty yard carry, whatever. Like <laughs> I don't play in any league. Get to have rid of that rules. shit. We got some bonus look. points in the OG league. You gotta get rid of that. Anyway. Need to remember to. Bring I don't. That up I don't, mind, I don't mind a bonus point. Nah, fuck out of here. Who cares? So if it's a thirty-nine yard catch, doesn't count. Get an extra point. Fuck nope. out of here. Shit. Stupid. Forty yard play. It's a big play. Shit. Stupid. Thirty-nine yard play is a big fucking play too. Just like I hate the fucking. He's not explosive because he only had twenty-four yard runs instead of twenty-five yard runs. Like shut the fuck up. It's like say, sleeper. Sleepers considers a big play twenty yards. Boom. Well. A 19-yard run is a big play, too, is all I'm saying. I'm not anyway. saying I want bonuses everywhere. Sleeper doesn't send me a notification. I'm not upset it's about not a bonus. Play. Whatever. Anyway. You get, you get an extra point every once in a you while. You know who didn't cool. have a lot of explosive plays? <laughs> Getting bonus points was not Najee Harris. I think there's a great little buy window here for Najee Harris. Whether this is worth a first or dynasty trade targets, Najee Harris. I'll let you in on a secret. Is they're all pretty much the same. Yeah. Everything, you just could put a different name on it. So yeah, that's really... For sure. <laughs> that's pretty much everything. What I get you to click on. It's terrible you know? that I can't just have a conversation no, and I got to say, is he worth a first? Well, the um, fucking 23 the firsts 23 are first, hot. Baby. So do you have a, a range where you would, you know, top four or five, no. probably pretty solidified. So, you know, I think everybody's feels good about what that value is and, and kind of who's in that tree, you know... Six through so you've nine. Got, you got Bijan and Jameer. Mm -hmm. Like, not necessarily Jameer at two, but he's in the top four. You got the two running backs, or two quarterbacks. Maybe squeeze a third quarterback in there. Maybe even squeeze a fourth quarterback in there by the time we get draft capital, landing spots, and Wait, all this shit. Very Off-season hype. Yeah. Right? Then it's like, okay, now it's a tier of wide receivers. And I think I would trade... Probably any of those wide receivers to get Najee Harris, right? You, would you rather have the JSN, the Addisons, the Quentin Johnstons? The value is definitely probably higher on those guys yeah. than Najee. Yeah. So if you're taking those three plus three quarterbacks plus two running backs. Yeah, it's probably where we're I'm at. We're now eight. I'm probably, so that's one probably nine. where I'm at, the one eight, one nine range, yeah. Yeah. Maybe even depending, maybe even, yeah, probably the one eight, one ten, eight range. Somewhere in that area. He's a little old. He came in old. I think this class is maybe going to be slightly older than Yeah, they're than saying normal. this is this the, the next two classes are going to be the probably the two uh, the two of the oldest classes because of the COVID year. Right. Um, so yeah, Najee comes in a little old. These a couple of these guys maybe. I mean, made. shit. Stetson Bennett's the same yeah, fucking sure. age as Lamar Jackson. Sure. <laughs> um, 
so you know you weigh that out a little bit but a, Najee is older for for a younger guy but i mean Say that not again? <laughs> <laughs> bad phrase um <laughs> I, I don't I guess right now it's we haven't had it ever in a, in a at least in a long time that you got some older running backs tre- holding serve and being good until you yeah. know later into their career here and, and I think maybe some of those guys you are probably even going to get another year out of for if sure not more I mean um, name a running back that was old this year that looked like he was declining I mean Zeke was Zeke, was, yeah. Zeke. but you know sure. that was that was he was the exception really and he still really hasn't been terrible no like, not at all I mean he's just he the way they play him is it fits like he they're they're two different players at this point like yeah um you know so that but no you're right not not a other whole, than zeke and and maybe derrick henry be, looked fine right he got hurt dalvin cook's fantasy points haven't been amazing but he looks fine on the He's field still rb1 and he, has a potential to crush every yeah. week and win you a week yeah aaron jones been a little bit banged up but when healthy fucking looks looks good. great and when he gets used he right, looks good right uh, who else? Eckler, gets obviously it done. Eckler, Eckler, Jesus yeah. Christ. The f- yeah. King just, right now. He just right keeps now. getting better. Yeah, ever since, what was it, like week three or four? He's been just on a fucking tear. It's just ridiculous. Um, so, no. Yeah, I mean, and <clears throat> obviously he got some, some usage at Bama, but, I mean, it's not. You know, it wasn't until, like, the final year where yeah. they were really riding him. They have a slew of guys there. So, so maybe he, a little tre- extra tread there for being a little older and, and – I mean, he's yeah. not necessarily the king of explosion like you led this conversation off with. So now, not statistically, but I do think this man has explosion. Like, yeah, he he hurdles a dude every other right. play. He has athleticism, and, maybe not so much explosion. Where well, you're going to break off long runs. Last year, they, you got Ben Roethlisberger, who's just immediately throwing the ball. <laughs> sure. And now you've got Kenny Pickett, who's figuring it out. This young offensive well, line. So, like, and that's the difference right now bef- between. Where you drafted Najee Harris and kind of where he finishes, and then there's some middle in there that we need to talk about. But like that's the if you put Najee quite in a little there. bit more of an explosive offense, you would see more explosive plays from him. He has the ability. He's got some speed. He can catch. He makes guys miss. He just doesn't have the high end speed. He's very athletic and can make you miss. And now, like in this last game, you saw right. the hammer being fucking driven and him kind of popping some shit, which I kind of liked. Um, he looked phenomenal. And then he, in then he this snatched last the mic game. at the end of the interview at the end of the game, which I really liked. Usually not a fan. But I liked he, he said he, he's hollering at the offensive line. So I like that. Um, yeah. Najee only has one carrier for 20 yards. All year. Yeah. I mean, he, that's the not that's what people are going to say. They hate him for that. Th- there's, so there's there's no big play because the explosion and top end speed explosion may be the wrong word. But like there's no high end speed that once you get to that second level, you're going to outrun everybody. <laughs> he can he can get there. But but he's going to stiff arm that man. He, this, he's this, still got to bring him down. Week, right. Week two stat lines. Not great. 15 carries. Well, 49 yards and a long of eight. And right. so this is the whole point of this conversation. You talk about week two, week three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck. Yeah. Before the bye, right? He was not right. We've talked about it on this show. We've talked about it multiple times. And we've, we've listed all the injuries that he had. He, he started off, I think, training camp with an injury. Yeah. Re-injured it in, in the beginning of the year. Had a fucking plate inserted in, I Steel believe. Steel plate in the shoe for, for the cleat for old. Finally got that out in mid-October. October. Had yep. the bye week in week nine and then comes back in, in, in week 10 and you know, nothing crazy here in week 10, week 11, back up to getting a, a, the bulk of the, the snaps. I don't know exactly what maybe that Warren was out that week or whatever, played 92%. You don't see that number at all on well, the rest ag- of these. Uh, again, real quick, another thing was the targets from Ben Roethlisberger and then the the amount of snaps he was playing which you know there isn't really anybody else getting crazy workhorse numbers in the entire league so Jalen Warren looks very capable and is probably decent for Najee long term plus they're kind of working you know pretty well together and you know it's again a nice compliment who, who sure. else has that who else has that luxury of being the only one it's it's very rare Barkley yeah and but Najee's still getting plenty of run yeah, yeah I mean had Barkley, six targets in week 11 mm-hmm. down fucking week. James Conner <laughs> sure. <laughs> one in week 12 and 13 three in week 14 nothing in week 15 but had a touchdown 86 yards on the ground another nine targets in week 16 caught two of three this past week so it wasn't like he's, he wasn't on pace for 80 catches like he was his rookie year nor was he playing like 99 percent of the snaps partly because he was banged up up and partly to kind of preserve him. Partly and they have a good pl- another good player. Right. Like and and you see good. what he could do in, in this past week, uh, which, you know, 
if you're watching this, I'm not sure when I'll get this video put out. We're recording this prior to week 18, so we're referencing the week 17 uh, game. Was that, was that a Thursday night game? No, they played Sunday Monday night. Football. They played on Monday night football. No, Sunday night football. Yeah, sorry. Sunday night football. Sunday night football, right. So it was a nationally televised game. Everybody saw it. Steelers came back and won. Or the primetime game, right. The picket came through in the end. Dude, and I'll tell you what. You're seeing the maturation of Kenny I was Pickett. impressed with him on that last drive. Sure. I don't know if you guys watched the game, but he was oh, impressed yeah. with on the last drive. Yeah. After struggling the whole game, yeah, he's got the moxie. He can fuck. He he's got the chutzpah. Care. He doesn't care what has happened. <laughs> sure he's does. On to this next fucking drive, and he put together a, a great drive, and that catch by Najee. I mean, shit, this yeah. man is a fucking receiver. Yeah, that was a great catch. Yeah, I mean, that's that's you know, this is we kind of talked about the injury. We talked about maybe the targets not quite being there, and you're really coming into the season. Everybody, nobody was thinking. Pittsburgh was going to be any good. Everybody was like, Pittsburgh's going to be dog shit. You got a rookie quarterback or Mitchell Trubisky, the offensive line. They really didn't do anything. It's kind of the same. Yeah, they've got good skill position players. But I mean, you know, when Najee's getting hit behind the line of scrimmage, there's a crazy stat about Najee contact behind the line of scrimmage throughout the last year. Um, so the line looks like it may be playing a little better. Najee was giving them some love after that game, like I said. Uh, but, you know, I don't know why Kenny Pickett gets such shit and i'm like i don't i I think because in the the stats in the stats that people look at it's he's bottom 10 or what you know whatever he's not he's not ranking super high never like that he's he's a fucking rookie i don't give a shit how old he is he's still a rookie in the nfl like the difference between him and a super young guy is that it's it's maybe a little less impressive the way he carries himself and his leadership like which was kind of the reason why they liked him so much um but i mean Kenny, week after week, it's like, yeah, he, does he struggle? Yeah, he's a fucking rookie. Again, their offensive line sucks. But he has these flashes like you guys are talking about where it's like he puts together drives and it, it looks scramble. really fucking good. And it's like, you know, Patrick Mahomes didn't play his first year. I'm not saying he's Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying he's any yeah, he of did. I'm not saying that he's any he of those his, top guys. He played but, his first year. Well, week, I mean, one 18, game. 18. Yeah. Or in 17. But... I, everybody that comes in has to immediately light the world on fire every single play. And I feel like you have amnesia about like how some of these other guys started. And it's like, there's glimpses, there's little windows into, into some really good shit here. And I don't know if it'll really mature into anything great, but it wasn't a wasted first round pick. Like I see some people talking about, like he could really develop into something decent is the hand size clearly doesn't matter all that much. Maybe in that Raiders game where they turn it over a bunch, he threw it high car was throwing it high. It was cold as fuck. Um, but I, I think I think Pickett's you know a guy a, a quarterback to trade for if anybody in your league's down for. I mean I think he can get the job done. The skill positions all around him. It's a good organization. If we can fix the offensive line a little bit, and you got Najee and now another running back. So if anything happens to him, you, like this offense can move forward. And you, I, it seems like I was talking to JB about it. And he was he's in Pittsburgh. Seems like you're going to get a change at OC. Yeah, that's a lot of the Pittsburgh people's knocks is that the OC isn't very creative in what they do. Yeah. Um, Matt so Can- Matt, Matt Canada. Canada. Yeah. yeah. Um, Blame Canada. Right. You, as you should. Um, so anyway, you were talking about the bye week after the bye week. Our, he's RB8, Najee Harris um, in PPR with 122 points after that bye week because we talked about coming in being hurt. Having a plate in your shoe. All right, hey, we finally come in. We get a rest. Made it to the bye week right. without re-injuring himself. Right. Got a full you know, week off. Right, and then comes in, and, and like I said, RB8, 15.3 points per game. That's good for ninth overall. He's number six in yards uh, after contact with 408 yards. Third in missed tackles force with 29. Uh, third in rushing yards, 539. Second in attempts, 141. Uh, tied for eighth in touchdowns, five. Um, and 15th in targets, you know, 24, and he caught 16 of those, and that's good for 20th. Now, is the targets exactly where you want him to be, and will Warren hamper maybe a little bit of that here and there? I- I'm sure, so that, that hurts a little bit. Um, but the attempts have stayed fairly high. Maybe Warren eats into that just a little bit, but the attempts are, are good enough to, to call him a bell cow still. And, yeah. you know, just like you said, getting healthy, getting right, you saw a little glimpse of it, throughout the season while he was hurt he just wasn't putting full games together plus they weren't they're not executing as well as they're executing at this point and and now in this last game like you said if you watched it it was that was that was a man didn't running want to tackle him no no and he and again you know 
popping a little shit out. You know, I like that. It was some confidence, some aggressiveness. Like, and that's a big Ravens. Uh, Ravens Steelers is just, you know, big time football. And right. And, and it was just, it was exciting to watch. And then to watch him catch that, like to remind you that the hands are fucking good. Like he's, he's, and he, that was the, the, the footwork as, was good as, as along to go with the hand, the, the hand placement, like, a bad pass catching or a bad pass catcher that's clumsy with their body. Maybe he, maybe they go out of bounds right there or, or don't secure it and then step out of bounds. But you know, Najee made a fucking great catch. Like the hands are good. He made catches like that in college. He's made catches like, like that last year. So, you know, I know I said, I was going to try to talk you out of Najee for a first. And I know some people will hate that you're trading uh, Najee for a first. He's old and he's, he's not explosive. So he's got to be trash. And it's they like, never even made it this far to the video. No. They went down to the comment section, made a negative shit and got out. Mm -hmm. Killing our average view duration. Whatever. Yeah. Fuck. Em. Cool. What's a view duration? <laughs> average view duration. Oh, okay. So, so one, one, uh, where are you at in the rookie draft? I, I would say I'm, I'm pretty close to there. I do like. The idea of the three wide, wide receivers, receivers right now, the Johnston, Addison, uh, Addison and, and Jackson. Smith and Jigba. Yeah. Jackson. I mean, the, you're, you're resetting age a little bit. It, it, and it, everyone it, loves it. Again, it. it again depends on kind of where you are as a team build. Yeah. I mean, that's really what all this kind of boils down to, right? Right. You don't need a 25-year-old running back unless you're ready to fucking go. Sure, that ever that some people may have questions about and question the organization a little bit, which I don't understand. That they usually figure it out. Um, yeah, we thought people try to question Mike Tomlin. What the fuck are mm. they doing? Yeah, idiots. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could be right right in there in the sixth. I may have a little more hesitancy to say maybe I want one of these wide receivers because you know again. Right now, the 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 Vogue thing is certainly wide receivers. Now, when a running back comes along the value spikes so fat like Kenny Walker as soon as he had a couple of weeks boom ADP through the roof you can't yeah. fucking trade him for anything um you know and maybe that'll happen to Johnston and Addison and JSN uh but I mean, Kenneth Walker in December DLF ADP was fucking sixth not super flex right uh -huh. but the sixth pick off the board <laughs> right I mean now he's so, he's ta tailed off a little bit when, with that injury. When running backs hit and they're good and they look good and the public likes them, I mean the value is going to stay strong for for a long time. And and the public knows the value of a running back who can score elite points. It's 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 fucking hard to come by right now. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say you know more along the the nine one nine for me. But I I think the one six is is fine. I know people will like that, but I don't. I think yeah, that's fine. I'm bit, not. a bit rich for my blood. If I if I won seven, you know, if I have, if I have a team like so, I got a team that right now, right? We just you know those guys are already in the Hall of Fame. The <laughs> I got a I got a team that, you know, is was the top four this year. We play a two week total points. I, I didn't win because Kyler got injured. Like I, I would have definitely cashed if I had a fucking quarterback, but I started Davis Mills and Teddy Bridgewater in the playoffs because there's a stupid trade deadline. Um. And on yeah. that team, I got Zeke and Dalvin, but the, my fucking roster is really good. And I got Pollard and I got Miles Sanders, but my running back room is kind of thin. I just been playing super heavy at the top of the running backs trying to, you know, when Zeke and Dalvin were in there, I, I cashed like four years in a row in that league. And I've slowly built out a very deep receiving core because you start a lot of guys in that league. I would trade you my pick for fucking Najee in a heartbeat. Get some solid like I'm trying to win, motherfucker. Like we're I'm, I've been in the top four for years now, and and my receivers are super young. Um, Najee stuck with. I still have two or three first, second round picks behind that, so it's like I'm. I'm Najee yeah. be in this in in Pittsburgh. Give me another, another running back that years. I can plug in that I know is going to get work. That I know that I think we're buying a little bit of a dip here because I I know I I think he's better than what the Definitely perception is. Buying a dip right now. I yeah. mean, Even with that Sunday night performance, I doubt people stayed up that late to even watch it. You know, and if you didn't no. have him, you didn't know he got twenty points, and and you know you might be frustrated, might be ready to was cash it? out at this point. Right. Right, so because you did spend a high draft pick on him in, in your startup this past year. You the know? the opposition of this is saying Kenny Pickett sucks, the offensive line sucks, the Steelers are going in the wrong direction, and Najee Harris isn't the kind of athlete you want at running back. So, nah, zero Kenny percent Pickett chance that takes a step forward. George Pickens takes another step forward. This this offensive line improves. Everything looks better. Najee comes in hopefully healthy. You know, I'm never here to try and predict injury. I think that shit's 
for the for the birds, you know, you're just gonna. Yeah, he definitely wasn't healthy to start the year off. Mm. That was obvious. So you bring in a healthy Najee, and everything's kind of looking up for this Steelers team that is always in the mix. Even as bad as it fucking was, they were still not eliminated in Week 17. Yeah, you know, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. Like it took, it took. I think they are now. No, they're not. They're still not eliminated. Nope. Look at that. They had to win last year, not last they week to, to not be did. eliminated. Right, yeah. they would have been eliminated had had Kenny Pickett not put together that that last. Last I think they drive. need some help to make the playoffs, but right. But who still. doesn't? Right, but coming into week eighteen, after week, I think after like week six, they were one and five or some shit. People were thinking they were about to get the first, like CJ Stroud or you know, like yeah. I talked to Steelers fans and the fucking sky was falling. Yeah, you know, it was Chicken Little out there. So I don't know. It was I, Kenny Little. No hands. one's, no one's gonna like this. Go buy Najee Harris. Yeah, agreed. I would he worth a first. For sure. This, this isn't a buy Najee Harris video, Jason. All right, it's just worth a first. This was a buy Najee Harris video. My running back is worth what? <laughs> you ever see those shows? My house is worth what or whatever, you know? Nothing. All right. uh, well, that's a good way to get out of here. We appreciate <laughs> you guys. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Ah, five star. You didn't remind them earlier. Uh, yeah, well, I got to get through this fucking intro. You know, I got Tim3648 uh, saying where he's out of here in two minutes because it's too long. Almost. Yeah, he said almost. almost. He came back. We <laughs> reeled him back in. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Wait, the. That was a real comment. Somebody was bitching because the intro was too long. Oh, for sure. That's that happens probably like once a month. <laughs> One of the people don't have two minutes. You're on YouTube all fucking day, but you don't have two minutes to get through the intro. Just fucking hit plus thirty seconds if you don't. I like know. There's like a fast forward button and there's timestamps down below. You know, I, I like. Yeah. People are like, oh, "Where's the timestamps? Can't please They're in them the description. All. You didn't see them. them. Yeah, you're yeah, never gonna please them all. It's fine. Hey, you know, if they ain't hating, you ain't popping. Comment, bo comment below what you don't like. Yeah. And I'll I'm definitely sure there's gonna do be something lots of about it. I'm sure there's lots of hate. And there's people You're that definitely didn't like watch this. this whole video going, uh, uh, fuck Najee Harris. Yeah, they, they didn't get this far, for sure. Uh, so we appreciate y'all. We'll be back with more of this. We'll be back with, we're about to get heavy in the rookies. But we're going to try to keep the Dynasty content of regular players rolling through. This will be something that we'll be doing a lot. So appreciate y'all. Catch you next time. Peace.